this workbench is easily the most used tool in my workshop. It's the adjustable height Husky model from Home Depot. I've made some modifications here. I've made a torsion box out of two layers of plywood to serve as the base. It's very strong. That allows me to get this old toolbox onto that lower shelf. But now I realize it's just made the workbench too heavy. In order to accommodate the extra clearance needed for this shelf, I've had to jack up the casters with some rod connectors. Let me flip it around and show you what's on the back. On the back side, I've added this basket weave made of thin strips of wood to capture my dust collection hoses. It's worked out okay, but it's pretty difficult to get things in and out and parts are always falling out. So it's not working so well. And these bench vices were a good idea at the time, but I've now realized that they're really not what I want. Even with all its shortcomings, this is the best bench for me. I cannot use a stationary fixed height bench in my shop. I've already relocated the toolbox to the shed. So next, I get rid of the hose storage and vices. This bench allows a lot of racking and twisting. I really noticed the movement in the screw hole pockets and Promo Plane Master videos. To help us visualize the magnitude of movement, I'll use a free app that shows the data stream of my iPhone's accelerometer. There's the rack. And there's the twist. The twist is a function of the play in the lift mechanism. So probably not much I can do there. But for the rack, I build a simple plywood box and fix it in between the legs with hot glue. Back to the accelerometer. The rack is nearly all gone. The tiny movement you see is really due to the omnidirectional casters. And as predicted, no improvement in the twist. Since I 86'd the vices, I need a new holding mechanism. So I make a dog hole apron I use wood dowels to avoid any metal fasteners. Once the dowels are drilled, it's a standard exercise in gluing and clamping. I've seen some opinions out there about woodworkers getting away with fewer clamps. While that may be true, you hereby have my permission to buy as many clamps as you can afford and have space to store. This is an experiment for sure. 
The idea is to have something as low profile as possible. Well, snap the bolt clean off. And the other one too. I grind down replacements from 8.8 .8 matching bolts on the belt sander. Now the toggles hold well and are low profile enough to stand next to comfortably. All in all, the bench is working much better now.